text-to-speech or TTS is a text-to-speech tool with natural sounding voices. Today I'm going to run through the features of this tool and how you can use it effectively. So to start we add it to our browser. After adding this extension to our browser we then go ahead and pin it to the browser toolbar. To do this we left click on extensions, the puzzle icon, and then left click on the pin icon. Now inside the browser toolbar, you will see the icon for the extension here. If we go ahead and left click this, it opens a new pop-up. And inside this pop-up, we can paste code or text in here if we wanted to. By default, we can see this text here. If we go ahead and click on the sound icon here, it will read text-to-speech the text that we see in this box, like so. A text-to-speech tool with natural sounding voices. So we could go to an article or a page such as here and go ahead and copy this. When we left click, paste it inside here and now press the icon again. Google LLC is an American multinational technology company that specializes in internet related services and... And clicking the button again stops that. And as you can see, it highlights as it goes through as well to let us know the certain parts of the text that it's now currently reading as text to speech. We also have the option to select different languages as well as different accents inside those languages as well. The really cool thing about this extension is that it also auto detects the language. So there's no need to set or input or detect language each time as it does this for you. Not only do we have the pop-up version, but we also have the version inside our actual browser. So when we go ahead and highlight any text, you'll then see the icon here. Go ahead and click this and it will turn it to text-to-speech. Google was founded in September 1998. And that is obviously the text that we've then highlighted. On top of this, we also have other options available. If you go ahead and right click inside the browser toolbar and then go through to options, you can see the options panel of this extension. Here we see different options. One is to enable text-to-speech for input or editable areas, such as on a form. So if you were to put text inside this form, will it then read that aloud? By default, this is unchecked. By checking this, we can then allow this option. Number two, highlight text when text-to-speech is running. This is set by default and I've already demonstrated this. The text as it goes through is highlighted yellow to the user to let us know whereabouts in the text-to-speech aspect we are. We can turn this off by unchecking this option. Number three, open the support page when the add-on is upgraded. It's pretty self-explanatory. Number four, enable text-to-speech when text is selected by mouse whilst Alt, Insert or T key is hold or held. So let's go ahead and enable this to demonstrate how this works. You'll notice by enabling this, it then disables number five, which is the bubble option as we demonstrated earlier. So let's go ahead and see what happens. If I go ahead and hold the Alt key and then highlight some text, I may need to refresh the page. Google was founded in September, 1998. See, so by having that selected, the Alt and then dragging and dropping. Google was founded in September 1998. If we change this back to the bubble, refresh the page. We can then see when we highlight this, we see the bubble. Google was founded in September 1998. So there are the two kind of options. One is to have the bubble and we highlight. The other is to have the short key version where we can hold Alt, Insert or the T key and then select. We can then also delay this bubble as well. As you can see here, after selecting any text, show the bubble after zero seconds. So that is option six. Let's go ahead and change this to five, uh, four seconds. Refresh the page. And as you can see, that was delayed. Rather than show instantaneously as it has done previously, it's now delayed by four seconds. This is a good little feature to add if you'll find yourself highlighting text quite a lot and you don't want this extension to get in the way and only be used when you actually need it. You also have the ability then to also automatically hide this as well. So you might have the flip option. You may want to show it instantly. If you don't decide to use it, then have it hidden. So refresh. 
Now we should see the bubble icon instantly and then it should hide after two seconds. There we go. And it's hidden. Let's try that again. And it's hidden. So there's lots of different options available to this to make this extension work for you easily inside the different settings that we see here.